Welcome back, Triple B Squad! Yeah, I had to add some cheese on there. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Um, let me smear it around. I got some jalapenos over here. <clears throat> and then here's some that I have that I didn't put in. This is a double stacker case it did, so you can see it. Okay, so I made quesadillas, guys. All right, so give this video a thumbs up and comment below, baby, and share it out. Share it out. All right, so like I said, I'm trying to stick to the chicken thing, guys. So I came up with chicken quesadillas. I'm going to show you what they look like real quick, then I'm going to dig in without the cheese because I was pouring cheese on it. It was just like, ooh, you know, I just, I got excited. <clears throat> so let's pray. All right. So like I said, I'm trying to stick with the theme of chicken. So I know I have some chicken, some cheese, some tortilla shells. So I was like, why don't I make some chicken quesadillas? <laughs> I do have some sauce over here. I had to use the same spoon. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So, I know it looks like a mess, but it is really, really good, guys. Okay. That's what I just cut up some clumsy pieces of cilantro and threw it on top with the salsa. It's, it's really just seasoned chicken and cheese and the inside, inside some cheddar cheese. All right. So once again, thank you for coming back. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, today was a good day. It was Friday when I filmed this. Ooh. It's gonna get messy. I can see. I'm off for the weekend, and uh, I mean, I feel good about my work week. How many of you guys actually like your job? Okay. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people say they, they like their job, but but I actually like my job. And these are mini shells. From let me just top layer off. They were like small, like street taco size. So they weren't big. So when they come up, they cut on little baby pieces. That's why I left a couple together. And I'm gonna eat those. I'll pour some cheese on that and probably fold them up like a taco too. So I got that. But why I keep saying why I like my job. Oh man, I'm tripping. I got some jalapenos over here. Let me get those on first. Mm. I'm just like, I just want to drink the cheese. I'm gonna do some sweating, guys, because it was jalapeno cheese. And then the chicken was kind of spicy because I used some kind of chamoy sauce or something. So these are the pickles with the carrots in them too. I mean the jalapenos with the carrots in them. So let's get some of those out of there. There they go. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to pour it on there. Juice and all. So I'm probably going to get to sweat. All right, so back to the video. All right, we all go to jobs. And, you know, to me, it'd be like mindless jobs. You know, something you're just doing for a paycheck. And, um, mm, all right, so good. It actually turned out pretty good. I'll tell you what happened when I was making it. I was reaching for the cumin. And talking with Sham, I wasn't paying attention to grab cinnamon. So I put a whole bunch of cinnamon over the chicken meat. And you know how strong just a dab of cinnamon would do. So I put a whole bunch of it. So I had to rinse the chicken off so I can save it and then redo it. I oh, luckily, no cheese came. No cinnamon stay on it. I got barges. Soda. Obviously, the top of my video is going to be 
Do you like your job? What is your dream job? Is your job satisfying? I used to have a lot of jobs. I go to work, and it's like, like for example, a factory job. You go to work, and then you know you don't talk to anybody. You're just picking things and doing things, and there's always a deadline, a time, and it's just so impersonal. And then you go home. I hate those jobs because those jobs. Because those jobs, you just don't, you don't, I don't, I feel like I don't feel like I did anything. I don't feel like I changed anybody's life, really. I don't feel like I did anything. I'm not saying everything I gotta do has gotta be like life changing. I just meant, you know, I've, hold on. Hey, yeah, those jalapeno, carrot, whatever you call them, they're on point. Mm. So, I've always been in sales, selling cell phones, computers, whatever, computer programs, software. You know, I did big sales, little sales. I've done a lot of sales in my life. And I can always say when I'm selling a good product, um, and I deliver that product to somebody and I know they needed it, I got satisfaction out of that. Sometimes I sold some things that I just wanted to get commission on it. Here you go, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, and I'm done. Sometimes I really help somebody out. It might be somebody that just needed it, didn't know how to use it, so I point them in the right direction. I got satisfaction from that. But was it more I was just satisfied because I got took care of them and I know I was getting a fat commission check? So the job I have now, I don't get commission. Like I said, it's not bad pay, but it's not the greatest pay right now. But every time I get off work, I feel good about myself because I know that because of me and the way I am, and how I am usually happy, and I'm always trying to cheer people up, make people feel better, that I made somebody that sometimes tell me they weren't feeling that good. And after they talk with me or hung out with me, or just they hang out at the job, I interact with other people, including me and others. They go home and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna do it all over again tomorrow with you guys. What I mean by that though, at my job I deal with you know, elderly people, you know, adults that you know need assistance. Or, you know, basically they just wanna get out and do something, meet some people, and be safe. So my job provides a safe environment for people where they can come in and meet, hang out, take part of all type of activities, do all type of um, interesting things. They get to eat a couple times a day. You don't have to worry about how to get in there. We'll get them there. So you're like going to these people's lives and they're like, man, I'm just so happy to get out. I'm just happy to meet people. I'm just happy to do things. So, and then when they meet me, you know, I hope all of them like me. They say they like me. I think I'm a likable guy. And we get to talking, and sometimes I talk with people, and it's like, you know, I, I feel like I made a difference. I might have made them smile today. As you know, I'm all about making somebody smile. And every now and then I do hear, like, I'm so glad, you know, I got up, came in. I'm so glad I hung out with you guys today. You know, they really enjoy it. They look forward to it the next day. So just as much as they look forward to it, I look forward to coming back. So why stress yourself at a job that you're unhappy with? You know, sometimes you have to do it because you have to do it. I understand that. But where would you like to work at? I do think you wouldn't be stressed out. I like this job, you know. I don't have any stress when I go to work. Sometimes I need them. I'm always smiling with us. I'm, I'm always happy. Sometimes I'm not. But I don't want to spread any negative energy. That's the problem with this people today. They be spreading a lot of negative energy. And we all have bad days. But I don't want to share my negative energy with you. And I hope you don't want to share your negative energy with me. But is it good to bottle that stuff up? <laughs> 
In my case, I really just keep it to myself. And if I can get time, I talk to Shan or you know somebody else I might trust. I might, you know, let them know what's going on. But it happens very often. Sometimes people are helping me without even knowing it. I'm listening to their stories. It's kind of like Mr. Wilson from the other side of Tim the Tool Man's fence. He was always helping Tim the Tool Man <laughs> without Tim even knowing it. He was just telling me, like, there's the answer. I'm just saying, we, we you know, tomorrow isn't promised. And I've worked too many jobs in my life where I didn't get any satisfaction. All I got was stress. You know, all I did was go home angry sometime. You know, what makes the job awesome is I can actually say, I like all the employees that I work with. Um, every single one of them. I don't think, so far, none of them have rubbed me the bad or bad way. None of them give me a, a, a like, dang, I gotta go to work and deal with so-and-so. And hope they don't feel that way about me. So that's what I'm saying. I really like this job. Um, because like I said, I, I make a difference. I can influence people. I can bring joy to people. And the people I work with bring joy to me. They're good people. And someday, I'll put a video up for them so you guys can see where it's at. But you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and you'll see where. Then look at that bite. You see all that? Peppers and onions and cheese. I love the peppers. <laughs> There's no reason to be stressing out here, guys. I don't know. Hopefully, I got enough. You know, this is good enough. <laughs> oh, a lot of this is hot. Am I sweating? Whew. So, what you got going on this weekend? I want to preach and tell stories all the time. I want to know what's going on in your life. I think it's a boxing match tomorrow. I haven't really watched boxing in a while, certain fights, but I definitely want to watch Javante Davis. He's an exciting fighter, so I'm gonna check him out. Um, Miss Shan's into the playoffs right now. She's a Milwaukee Bucks fan. They're still in it, so she's excited about that. I'm ready to dig into one of these big ones. Are you ready to dig in with me? I'm, not, I'm just gonna eat like this. Let me some comments down below on things you want to see me eat chicken based. You know, I'm always giving y'all things to comment below. Yeah, I know the one thing I like is thumbs up, comment below, baby. And just as important as you want to share it out, you want to share it out. But I need those comments. I like to talk to you guys. If you notice, I reply to every comment in my uh, thing. If I've ever missed your comment, let me know. But I reply to every single comment from you guys. That's how much you guys' comments mean to me. I do these videos. If I touch you, if I motivate you, if something happens that you you know you like, let me know. Um, because that's how much I appreciate you guys. And, uh, and, I, and I hope that means something to you that I take the time to answer all your your something. I, I let you know I acknowledge you. I appreciate you guys being there. So just as much as people, I look forward to going to work. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comments. Sometimes, that's why I like doing live up, man. When I get to eat and I get to talk to you. That's always a plus. What was your worst job? What was the job you hated the most? Right, man? The job I had before this one, I like some of the people that work there, but I didn't like the job. They paid good money because you worked a lot of hours, so you got a lot of overtime. But it was a hard job. I 
It's like they just did not care. He worked six days, 12, 15 hours. He just not, they didn't care. He's like, ah, keep going, keep going. The only good thing I say about that job is I lost weight. So, I guess that was a good thing. Whew. Something I just ate is hot. So back to not stressing. I'm not just talking about work either. I'm talking about anything. Don't let people stress you out. Don't let people be dead weight to you. If people ain't holding their own, sometimes you gotta cut them loose. You don't do so much for people. And at some point, they gotta be able to do for themselves. I've heard it from other people that just just don't want people to suck the life out of you and drain you, you know? So if you're in one of those toxic situations, if it's a relationship, if it's a work buddy, if it's just a friend, just be honest with each other. You know, you don't like this, you don't like that. I mean, they can get mad, might not want to talk to you for a while. But if you hear true people, true friends or whatever, they'll come back around. But you gotta let people know sometime that it's, it's not always about you. <laughs> I need to worry about me sometime. So, anything you do, don't get stressed out about it. Don't just do something else. That's why I say I'm blessed to have an opportunity where I do something I enjoy. I'm stalling because I'm getting full. Excuse me. So if you want to see me eat, just bear with me. I'm going to eat some more, but I'm going to stay away from these peppers because they're hot. Okay, there's no peppers on this one. Let me get some of the cilantro. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. I'm about ready to have me a drink. Have me unwind a little bit. Had me, I ain't opened up this can, but I'm gonna save it. But I got a couple cans left. I need to go leave some more, but I wanna drink me some, you know, something dark with some Coke. It's the weekend. I didn't do any drinking during the week. Well, that's not true, I guess. But I was off, you know, I was on vac my little uh, birthday vacation, so I was able to drink them. Yeah, I think I just got like, once again, that's like I be getting the itis, man. I'm sitting here eating and stuff, and the next thing you know, I'm just ready to like, whew, I just wanna go relax. I got some shows to watch. I mean, I, I like I said, I'm an Ultimate Fighter fan, so there's like a whole bunch of seasons, a new season of Ultimate Fighter I gotta watch. I would love to have been a fighter back in the day. <laughs> but you gotta have like a certain mental issue or something to be doing that every day. And I'm not saying I'm bad about UFC fires or nothing like that, but as much as I say I want to go out there and do it, but I ain't trying to get hit as much. And they go through some pain. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish I'd have had some rice with this, you know? No rice. Ooh. So like I said, don't let people drain your energy. Don't let them suck you down. You know, do what you gotta do to make yourself happy. Mm. I'm just gonna eat you like that. Surround yourself with positive people. You control where you at. Simply say, if you don't like something, simply change it up. If you can't change it up right away, work on changing it up. Get on the internet. If you don't like where you're at, move to a new state. Change jobs. Get new friends. If you're unhappy and you feel like so much weight is on your shoulder, start cutting people off. Start changing things. Start cutting things down. Get to a point where you can handle it. Like I said, you not promised tomorrow, so live for today. Don't worry about that past. I'm 
future will be there for you. I'm cool. Do you get mad when I don't finish all my food? <laughs> Diva doesn't get mad because she's always trying to get it. But there's too much hot stuff here for this one. Mm. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get up out of here. Before I go, you know what I'm saying? Please, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Share it out. Share it out. Check out all those links below in my description box. Go show them some support. Of course, at the end of the video, if you have not seen the roll call of these wonderful channels that support Big Belly Bob, that could use support from you guys too. Go ahead and swing by a couple of houses. If you like them, subscribe. If you don't, we won't be mad at you. You know, but give them that honest shot. Uh, and, and if you like them, subscribe to them. Okay, I'm always trying to help somebody else out. Uh, people bless me, so I try to bless people too and introduce them to uh, my crowd. So my crowd, Triple B Squad. Go check out those members down below. Try something new. It might be a hidden gem in there that you like. I think there are hidden gems, but there might be one that just catches your eye. So don't close your eyes to the people in my description box and the people I roll at the end. But I ain't hold y'all up no more. So I already told you, thumbs up, comment below. Share it out. Share it out. I'm Big Belly Bob. Peace. I'm full. Yeah, I think I really am going to go to sleep. Take me a nap. Oh, man. All right. Bye again. Thank you.